Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the series where I reveal what is inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello and welcome to another edition of the mystery mold series. This one is mold 57 and I'm very excited because I'm getting in the Christmas spirit this December and this mold with three holes is a very special one I've held on to after I found it a little earlier on in the year. It is a set of two Santa ornaments. One is sort of a tobogganing, I would say, uh, with its big winter coat on. And then there's another Santa wearing board shorts doing a bit of a surf. I really think these are quite sweet. I did have some difficulties with this mold though. What I found is that the weather's getting warmer, so my molds are setting a lot quicker. And every single time I poured this, the little hoop of the ornament that it hangs by kept cracking off. You can see there when I'm trimming it, it's not smooth and buttery, it's quite hard. Um, I tried to solve this, but I couldn't figure it out in time, um, the perfect time frame I needed to open them up in. But here's the mold if you're looking for it. It's from Alberta's, which is really cool that a American mold company thought of us Aussies over here in the Southern Hemisphere that experience Christmas in the summer and are more likely to go surfing than tobogganing <laughs> in this weather. But yeah, I've, I've decided to go ahead with the design without that little hoop and I cut it and sculpted and smoothed off where the hoop was. And they'll just be little sort of like, I guess, bench bench trinkets rather than a tree ornament. I didn't want to open the mold too soon and have it too soft and break the piece and then vice versa I was letting it dry too quickly which ended up cracking the piece and it's just sometimes can be a little bit of a uh, touch and go with some of the molds especially with their design to get them out at the perfect point. Regardless, I think these are going to look really cute as little bench ornaments. Uh, they are quite sweet and charming and beautiful little trinkets you can put on your bench. I know I've got family members that absolutely cover their house, not just their tree, but like every sing single bench literally has something of Christmas spirit everywhere. I am really appreciative of this mall because as a Southern Hemisphere person, um, Australians, New Zealanders, other countries that celebrate Christmas in the Southern Hemisphere, it is so hard to find seasonally appropriate decorations. Like all the decorations are always to do with the Northern Hemisphere season of winter and that very beautiful snowy Christmas um, that all the films are based in and so it's really nice to see some, it's so so daggy but some representation for us that have a summer where we're most likely going to be at the beach we're going to be eating seasonal fruit of mangoes bananas all the beautiful cherries plums peaches everything that's in season and uh, it's just such a little thing that's just making me feel very appreciative on top of the true boganism of Australia, I decided to turn one of the little Santas into a little Southern Cross board short wearing dude rather than a Santa, but it still looks like it's Santa. <laughs> Just wearing some daggy Southern Cross boardies. I went in and did a little bit of a detail on the surfboard. Not too much because I'm actually not going to sell these pieces. These pieces I'm going to be giving away. So I'm going to do a little Christmas hunt for those. But I did have a little bit of a shark attack. My poor <laughs> Santa has had his legs chewed off because he fell off his board when there was a shark around. So that's not great. Um, but that's all right. That that that's what happens on the big jobs. I wrote down ornament hunt on the base of each of these because I did a little ornament hunt last year with the Santa ornaments and that were in a previous mystery mold and it was so much fun and it was so cool to see people going out into my local town and trying to find the pieces and they now live on their trees and it's just one little way I can give back to my local community in a fun adventurous way so I pop them into some glaze I pop them in the kiln the one thing I do like about these ornaments is they have a flat surface which means I don't have to put a big clunky bead tree in my kiln I can just sit them flat on their bases which is actually really nice 
it's just a shame about those hoops in the top. I could have also added some camphor wire instead of, I guess, like the purposeful wire. But anyway, we're here now and this is what we did. And these are the choices we made this week. Here is the finished results. I think these are so charming. Aren't they beautiful? I don't often work with vibrant reds, but gosh, I love Christmas with that vibrant red. It is so lovely against that contrast of white and little pops of color. It is so beautiful. And the way the gloss glaze makes the red truly just ring, like it sings on the piece. I love the red underglaze. It's so nice. That red underglaze is from Chrysanthos. If you want to know where to get it, it's called Rocket Red. It's amazing and I love using it for red details. The surfboard Santas came out quite lovely as well. I did have two issues though. My little Bogan Santa, uh, the underglaze for some reason washed out. I don't know what happened there. It was even coats everywhere and it kind of makes the Southern Cross fade into the board shorts, which kind of is cool, like a vintage worn out pair of boardies. And I also had a small crack on one of them near the feet, which I don't know why that happened either. I think these are really gorgeous. I love that it incorporates a winter and a summer season in these pieces. It makes me feel very included. What do you think of these pieces? Let me know in the comments. And here is your next mystery mold sneak peek.